In this video, we will help you understand the costs when going geo. A heating and cooling system is a major investment with upfront and operating costs that require consideration. There are seven factors to consider when it comes to the cost of going geo. Ask yourself the following questions as we go through the seven factors. These are the same questions your installation contractor will ask to ensure you invest in the right solution. First factor is location. Where is the home or building located? What kind of soil is the home or building built on? How much land is available for ground loops? Is the home or building built on flat or elevated land? The second factor is climate. How big of a system is required to heat or cool the building? How about the building's characteristics? How big is the home or building? What materials and construction methods were used? How well is the home insulated? How many windows are in the structure and how efficient do the windows perform? Is there an existing system already installed and what condition is it in? Also, how do the local energy prices for fossil fuel and electricity compare? Are they high or low in your area? How about the current bills? Are you worried about the future price for energy and cost increases for this building or home? And the last factor to consider when calculating the cost of a geothermal heating system is tax credits. What kind of tax incentives and other rebates are available in your location? To help you further understand the upfront investment, here's a basic formula you should consider. Building plus system plus loop field plus existing ductwork equal upfront cost. Let's break down each of these factors that will help you understand the costs. Size of the home or building. The amount of heating required depends on the size of the home or building. The larger the building, the more heating or cooling will be required. Also, the insulation of your home will be another closely related factor due to its direct effect on the amount of heating or cooling that will be required. Size of geothermal system. Based on the size of the home, insulation, and climate, the amount of heating and cooling needed is calculated, which in turn enables a contractor to calculate the size of the system for the job. Needless to say, a larger system is going to be a little pricier than one that's smaller by comparison. Size of the loop field. The size of the system and the climate in which it is being installed will determine the amount of loop pipe that will be installed. The cost will also depend on the site, the ground conditions, and the type of loop field being installed. And lastly, usability of current ductwork. Most likely the ductwork will not be a large factor. However, if you need to install or repair the ductwork, this will be a necessary component to consider when calculating the cost of a geothermal system. Here are some final things to remember. Not all geothermal heating systems are created equally. Never choose your contractor based solely on price. An inexperienced contractor may offer you a lower quote, but could create inefficiencies in your system that could cost you in the long run. If you would like more information and or a free quote for your building or home, visit our website at discovergeothermal.com. You can search our partner directory for an installation partner near you.